I'm Elle and welcome to my channel dedicated to helping you learn about ethical fashion. In today's video, I'll be explaining the ins and outs of ethical fashion. So ethical fashion has been defined as synonymous to sustainable fashion, slow fashion, and eco fashion. However, there is no exact definition on what it means. Personally, I interpret ethical fashion in terms of what is morally right and wrong within the industry. This is important because there are many issues in the fashion industry that must be addressed. Ethical fashion is also a framework to understand how fashion practices relate to agriculture, textile creation, sewing processes, supply chain production processes, which include shipping, retail marketing and discounts, and brand disposal processes, and also the overall life cycle of clothing, to just name a few. Ethical fashion also allows us to categorize fashion's interconnected nature and to better understand what sectors and individuals are responsible for different issues in the fashion industry. This helps us know who needs to act morally versus just blaming the consumer. It also breaks down which morals need to be upheld during certain times and practices in the fashion industry. This specific quantifiable breakdown is needed because morality is shaped by individuals' personal ethical ideology. However, ethics can be defined in many different ways to justify many different actions and processes. And certain ethical frameworks actually help to uphold capitalism and imperialism, which only supports the current toxic and damaging state of the fashion industry, also known as fast fashion. So in that way, ethical fashion can also still be interpreted as fast fashion under this understanding. But if you want a fashion industry that has a positive impact on people on the planet, this is not something we want to do. And if you are not fully aware of what fast fashion is, it's the clothing typically found in malls and online brands like Shein that sell weekly micro trends for the masses. Pieces are made with cheap fabrics at a super fast rate in factories that underpay female garment workers and overwork them every day. These exploitative working conditions force workers to endure harsh lives where they struggle to pay their bills and feed their family. Consumers often quickly buy and dispose of these pieces to catch up with the quickly changing micro trends. Therefore, the constant introduction of new fashion trends is really dependent on a constant rhythm of exploitation, overconsumption, and waste. Ethical fashion can act like a roadmap to look at fashion more intentionally and consciously in the face of the normalized practice of overconsuming clothing from exploitative manufacturing processes and in face of thoughtless fashion design and wasteful production practices. To help understand ethical fashion, it's also good to understand that the term ethical is derived from the Greek term ethos, originating from Aristotle. In its original usage, ethos was used to mean character. Character, according to Aristotle, was established through three virtues, which are the following. Phronesis, meaning wisdom, Aridi, meaning a morally good human being, and Euna, meaning the goodwill a speaker would establish between him or herself and his or her audience. So to have a true ethical fashion industry based on this definition of ethics and its associated virtues, it must be interpreted as fashion that has a positive impact on everyone involved in the industry and really any industry connected to it by using wise practices and processes. And I just want to note that fashion is surprisingly connected to many different sectors and parts of the world. The following is a framework that was created by Anders Hogg and Jacob Bush, published in their research article titled Towards an Ethical Fashion Framework. It illustrates the many characters involved in the fashion industry where some hold more responsibility for the unethical issues in the industry. I want to especially point out that even if workers employed for fashion suppliers are in this framework, they don't have a lot of choice. They can obviously quit whenever they want if they don't agree with the unethical conditions and the harmful effects their jobs create. But their livelihood depends on their job and their families depend on their income as well. So in a way, their jobs, basically their role in the fashion industry is not a free choice per se. All the while, different actors interact and influence 
with each other differently. Suppliers and governments will most likely change their operations through the brands they work with, and brands are only likely to develop ethical production and supply chain processes when it's profitable for their bottom line. So I highly recommend you study this framework to learn more about all the actors in the fashion industry and how they interconnect. I've left a research article link in my description. Let's say we managed to achieve an ethical fashion industry, despite the many actors needed to do so. We would ideally still want to have fashionable clothing in our closet, but now they're made from sweatshop-free labor conditions that also don't harm the environment or workers. It would also ideally help all global south countries by lifting their work up and their artisanal skills that are rooted in tradition and culture versus forcing them to continue creating generic westernized pieces to the masses. So essentially, ethical fashion would be a complete reimagining of the design, sourcing, manufacturing, and transport of clothing to maximize positive benefits for all locals in their communities across the globe. And this makes consumers, us, at the end of the day, just one small actor of the change needed to create an ethical fashion industry. So please still consider the following actions to get started on your ethical fashion journey. One, act more ethically than defined by the government or any regulators in the industry. I recommend you look into your favorite fashion brands and investigate how your clothing was produced. Really look into their fashion supply chain process to understand how clothing arrived to your door. By knowing what's going on, you'll have a better idea where to shop and how to prioritize your budget to shop more consciously. However, there is no single organization or governmental body regulating any codes of conduct in the fashion industry. And if you don't know what codes of conduct are, they're basically like standards of operation expected by fashion brands. But the good news is, is that there's a couple of trade associations like Fair Trade that monitor and encourage ethical practices for some fashion brands. You can also use Good On You as a great resource to start digging into your favorite fashion brands. Number two, act more ethically than mainstream fashion providers, which are the involved designers, producers, and marketers who design and create and market these unethical micro trends. To act more ethically means advocating that these providers embrace more ethical practices by reaching out to them to change their ways. Get in contact with them and see what they're up to. And if they're not creating a positive impact on people on earth, then tell them to do better. If that doesn't work, consider not supporting their work. And you can always try making your own clothing, repairing clothing you already own, and re-wearing pieces for years because that way you won't be supporting the work of unethical fashion providers and brands. Three, withstand brainwashing fashion ads. This is basically me telling you to go against social recognition and acceptance. Just be yourself and buy whatever makes you feel your most authentic self versus what's trendy. A major pro tip is to also unsubscribe from fast fashion brands, email newsletters, and to cancel any promotional mail from them. Number four, disappear information given by the fashion medium producers. Take your time to identify the information behind brands, production processes, their environmental impact, etc. Please don't trust their commercials and their pretty pictures. They'll sell all these glorious pictures because it doesn't tell you the behind the scenes and it leaves you believe that the clothing is okay. So please get all the information that you can by watching the True Cost documentary on YouTube and reading the anti-capitalistic book of fashion by Tansy Hoskins. That was a lot of information, but I hope you learned about ethical fashion in today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments and feel free to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, peace and love, L. <laughs>